In this video, we are going to find that the limit as x approaches infinity of x divided by x plus a all raised to the power x. And a is just a real number here. So let's begin by rewriting this as e raised to x multiplied by the natural logarithm of x divided by x plus a. We can do this because if we just use the power rule and bring the x up here, we have e raised to the natural logarithm of x divided by x plus a raised to the power x. These two cancel and we're just left with that. So that's why we can rewrite this like that. Now we're going to have the limit as x approaches infinity of e raised to x multiplied by the natural logarithm of x of x divided by x plus a. Now we can take this a step further. We can bring the limit up into the power. So we have e raised to the limit as x approaches infinity of the natural logarithm of x divided by x plus a divided by 1 over x. All we've done is rewrite this x here like this. We can do that because if we have x times y, this is equivalent to y divided by 1 over x because in order to get rid of this fraction we would multiply by x here and we would multiply by x here and we'd just be left with this. So that's why we can do this. But the actual reason why I've decided to write it in this form is because it makes it easier to apply a Hopital's rule. Now, notice if we were to plug in x is equal to infinity, we would have the natural logarithm of 1, so that's just 0. And we would have 1 over infinity, which is also just 0. So we have an indeterminate form of 0 divided by 0. So both of these functions are differentiable, so we can go ahead and apply a Hopital's rule. So that just involves us taking the derivative of the numerator and taking the derivative of the denominator. We're going to have e raised to the limit as x approaches infinity of a divided by x multiplied by x plus a divided by minus 1 over x squared. Now we can simplify this. We have e raised to the limit as x approaches infinity of minus a times x squared divided by x squared plus x times a. We can factor this a out of the limit. This gives us e raised to minus a multiplied by the limit as x approaches infinity of x squared divided by x squared plus x times a. Now the highest power of x in the limit is x squared, so we're going to divide everything in the limit by x squared. We have e raised to minus a multiplied by the limit as x approaches infinity of 1 divided by 1 plus a divided by x. So we've just divided this by x squared and divided this by x squared and divided this by x squared. Now if we let x be equal to infinity, this is essentially just 0. So we have the limit as x approaches infinity of 1 and this is obviously just equal to 1. So we're just left with e raised to minus a and that's the final answer to this problem. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you found this content useful, make sure to like and subscribe and follow for more. I hope you have a great day.